All right, welcome back. Um, so uh, I am going to uh, show you how to use these um, these tools that I've uh, used uh, recently. Uh, well, I, I've shown you in the, in the last couple of um, uh, videos uh, to show you how you can uh, make a poster a lot better. So this is a poster that uh, a guy in our lab did, uh, Farhan, who's also a co-author in, in some of my uh, papers. Uh, so Farhan um, used a template which uh, which I created, I think, or a friend, uh, actually a graphic designer friend of mine uh, used. Right. Um, so one thing that's problematic with this um, particular poster is that everything's not aligned, right? And that makes things kind of hard to read. It, it kind of jumps out visually. It's not, it doesn't appear to be so bad on the screen, but once you print it out and it's absolutely huge, it, uh, it really shows that everything's uh, not aligned. So it doesn't facilitate uh, reading the results. So once again, you can use the guides, for example, to uh, yeah, uh, get an idea of, uh, of where to place stuff. And for example, you can select, for example, this thing, and just move it around, align it to a certain position. Uh, you can add another uh, guide over here, uh, and you know do this process over and over again. Uh, one thing, uh, oh, sometimes the, uh, the 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 sizing of the columns is going to be different from one column to the other, and that's kind of annoying visually. Uh, so you want to here use a little rectangle like I, I showed you earlier as a unit of measure, right? And then you can place it over here, right? And then you, you would select everything that's in this column and then move it about here. And now you're, uh, everything's fine. Right? Your, your columns are equispaced. Uh, obviously, I didn't select everything correctly. <laughs> so it doesn't really work, but that's the idea behind it. Uh, here's you've got a great example of uh, boxes, right? These little boxes underneath. And uh, so if you try to select uh, for part of this plot, let's say, um, so I want to select uh, type 2 unikinetic here. Uh, and then it drags along this, this box, right? So that's really annoying. That's a perfect example of why you want to use a layer, right? So it's a one layer uh, figure in this case. So just take all your boxes, uh, like so. Uh, here I'm using Shift. And then... And then you just select this one. Arrange, set the ground there. And then you lock it. And then you can finally select things inside without having to worry about these boxes moving around. And uh, so, again, you know, just a, just a question of, you know, showing you different examples of how you can use this together. Do you have uh, more to add? Hmm? Do you have more to add uh, no, about, uh, about this? This seems like kind of clear. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, so what do we have after that? Oh, putting things together. All right. I'm going to open up uh, one of them plots. Oops. Uh, let's say polar plot. And um, okay, f so first of all, once you when you um, uh, I'm going to place this in a new document actually. Okay. So you'll see that when you import things from um, uh, MATLAB or from whatever, it'll create a lot of groups, uh, which are kind of annoying sometimes. Um, so, uh, so for example, here we ha we see it; it's a group, right? So once you double click on this, you'll get inside the group, and then you can select things individually. For example. 
can go outside the group, you can ungroup. Uh, the keys are Control G to group things and Control Shift G to ungroup things. So here I'm going to ungroup. And the difference now is my selection is mixed objects rather than group. So uh, groups are